a millennium into the robot age, war ravaged the planet. Crushed by the forces of a tyrannical cyborg known only as the General, humankind had all but lost hope. In their darkest hour, a human warrior named Eon, equipped with a mighty fist, rose to victory, destroying the General. Ladies and gentlemen, Iron Kid featuring Eon. I didn't make this up, okay? Lord have mercy. And all I can tell you is that introduction is perfect for what I have to tell you. There is a rule, and it is my rule, not theirs. But the rule is, leave me alone. And I will, you know, man, I will mind my business. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we filed a lawsuit in a particular court. And the young man whose name is on a lawsuit with me, we followed the so-called rules. I was nice. I was cordial. Every document is signed, both names, put on the record. Then a couple of times I had him mail off the documents because I wanted to test something out. And when he mailed them out, five different documents, man, pay attention. Never filed on the record. So then we are scheduled for a hearing. I'm ready for the hearing. They're asking for a demure. Well, even if the case is, even if the allegations are true, there is no remedy. Okay, fine. Sorry, Your Honor, you don't have a choice in this matter. There is a controversy. We have a right to have that matter decided by a jury. We've asked for a trial by jury under the rules of common law. So, sorry. So when we wrote that to the idiot, <clears throat> he decided to order the clerk to schedule the hearing for an in-chambers hearing where nobody needed to show up. So technically, they continued the hearing, but we had to <clears throat> appear by paper. I'd already responded, so there was no reason for anything else to take place. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, what had happened was we had a hearing scheduled for Monday. On Monday, or Tuesday, excuse me, on Monday, the clerk of the court dismissed the case due to lack of prosecution, saying that they had not received anything from us and we had not responded to the petition for a demur, even though we have the documented proof that not only did we respond, but he walked it into the court and it's time and date stamped. My bad. But they dismissed the case. We're doing a reconsideration junk. It, it's okay. It's, it's just the games people play. Ladies and gentlemen, they're blocking my access in every courtroom, every single court. I have, I have filed over 15 lawsuits in the last two years. Legitimate lawsuits. Uh, at least seven of them where my name is on the case with others. The only one that and they're playing around with it too, the one in Washington, D.C., the $400 billion one. This is what this video is about. That's the only one that's still pending. They've dismissed every other one. One, way, one reason or another, all dismissed. Try to appeal? The appeals court, you're out of time. Excuse me? Out of time. I, I got them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got one of the courts... So that they couldn't say the out-of-time thing, because they like to do that, even though I do the appeal immediately. So in one court, I filed the appeal, I had another client, I filed the appeal and the appeal brief at the exact same time. Who does that? I do. That's me letting them know that you're not smarter than I am. So when I filed the appeal brief and the appeal at the same time, the judge, again, looking to dismiss the case, didn't notice that the appeal brief had been filed. And when he noticed that the appeal brief had been filed, he actually criticized them for filing the appeal brief earlier than the time period when it was supposed to be filed. But when it came to the, this is a bankruptcy, when it came to the trustee, commended them for filing their junk early. And so I called him a bigot and a racist because here he is, he's complimenting the non-person of pigment color for doing something 
and gave them a positive response. But every time he refers to the couple who ain't someone of non-pigment color, he criticizes them, chastises them, belittles them. So I said, you're betrayed by your own words. Because he did one first criticizing, and then a month later, he's complimenting them. So I just used his own words against him. Ain't heard nothing back from that mother, <clears throat> excuse me, that individual. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I said, leave me alone. And they keep messing with me. Now, I, I've told all of you that when I was a kid, at the age of three, I come walking down the stairs and I'm crying. And my mother and father look at me and my father says, oh, what's wrong? And I said, they keep messing with me. And my father says, oh, come here. And he picks me up and he says, you know, and I can still see that happening right now. If you had Jehovah as your friend, then nobody would mess with you. That's who I want. Because I asked him, I said, who, who is Jehovah? He says, he's the strongest person ever. That's who I want as my friend. That way nobody will mess with me. And I've been talking to Jehovah ever since. See, that's why I tell people, nobody convinced me to be one of Jehovah's Witnesses. I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses because I came to know the true God. And he has time and time again gave me evidence of him being in my corner. Now, I'm going to, what I'm about to reveal to you guys, you definitely need to be recording this and documenting. You're going to have to do your research. I'm only going to give you the information. You're going to have to do your research. Ladies and gentlemen, I asked him to leave me alone. He says that I can do what I'm doing as long as I don't disrespect them. Well, as I told everybody, they're not sitting in their proper capacity. They are not government. In the United States, the government of the United States is the people. That was the new experiment. You don't believe me? Go look at the Supreme Court cases where they say the sovereignty of the United States rests in the people. So one thing, I'm getting ready to bring a case before the United Nations and the World Court on behalf of the United States, the frauded homeowners of America, and those similarly situated. Yes, representing the sovereignty of the United States. I'm not joking. See, the United States doesn't recognize any judgments from the so-called Pan-American courts. They don't think they have to comply with the world court, but they do. But only heads of states or actual states get to bring claims before the world court. Pay attention. That's not true, but that's what they say. Ladies and gentlemen, the sovereignty in the United States resides in the people. There is a process for representing the people. Shh, don't tell nobody. That's the first thing that you're going to learn. Well, I'm just going to talk about that like I just did. I'm going to move on with something else right now. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing, ladies and gentlemen, is when we filed the lawsuit against the Federal Reserve, they had already pled guilty. Their banks already pled guilty. The Federal Reserve, a private corporation, Federal Reserve is not federal government. They are a private corporation. They cannot represent the public interest at any time. Why? Because no public entity can represent the public in the United States. There is no jurisdiction, no delegation of authority for them to do that. Absolutely none. I just had to write a letter to the CFPB and the FDIC because they're both claiming they have no jurisdiction, and that's a lie. They regulate those federal agencies, and they regulate financial institutions when it comes to consumer fraud, finances, and supporting and backing up those monies that are placed in those accounts. In clearings, each one of you who has a mortgage, a car loan, a student loan, 
you do not realize Federal Reserve Operating Circular number 10, Appendix number 3, was applied to your loan and that they did the end clearings processing, end clearings accounting, which means a check was deposited into an account in your name that you don't know about. Well, guess what? You have a right to demand that accounting. You have a right to go to the FDIC and tell the FDIC, hey, these funds are insured. It's an account in my name and I have a right to access that account. I want you, since you're not doing your job, to report this to the OIG, Office of Investigative General. I need you to report this to them. Now, all of our clients, we're already doing that for you, so y'all ain't got to worry about that. I'm telling this to the rest of the people because I told them, leave me, leave me alone. They keep messing with me, so... There you go. They, you bring up the claim of the Civil Rights Act of 1866, not no Civil Rights Act of 1871. Please, that piece of junk called the Ku Klux Klan Act, don't bring up that amendment junk. No, bring up the original Civil Rights Act of 1866. That's where your protections are. And go after them through that act. The Office of Investigative General must do the investigation. You bring forth a complaint. They cannot ignore it. They ignore it. Now you got a claim against the entire organization and they have no immunity. Not my saying. It's the law. Their law that they've created and made up. Now we're going to split this video into the so-called information that you really should be paying attention to will be in the next video. But that information should pretty much keep many of you with your hopes up. Many of you are losing in despair. We are not going to have you lose in despair. There is a young man, he did a video talking about the 1040 ES. I'm going to tell you that he is correct. I've had at least nine people do that process more than a year ago, including one of them being an attorney. He is correct. I don't agree with everything he's saying. He is correct. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that video and download it, and I'm going to attach it to this video. Okay? As a matter of fact, i got to check to see if I have a joiner. I, I did add another video to this, so i got to check to see. If not, I will, I will get it taken care of. So, we'll speak to you guys shortly, or I'll upload it separately. One of the two. If it's not attached to this video, that means I decided to upload it separately. Be right back with the next video.